welcome. At 12 GMT November 15, 2006. Day one of a new era in television news. The Al Jazeera media network expanded its reach to the English-speaking audience. And the very first program live from our Doha news headquarters here. A 24-hour English language news channel has now given a voice to the voiceless. The Democratic Republic of Congo. Where it is Al Jazeera English set out on a path that was already semi-paved. Its sister channel Al Jazeera Arabic was already a powerful regional brand with an international outreach. The mission of Al Jazeera English was to build on that momentum, which it did. In two years, the new channel, whose initial aim was 20 million subscribers, was able to reach 80 million. Its exclusive coverage of the Israeli war on Gaza in 2008 made it stand out among giant world competitors. With regional hubs in Doha, London, Washington, DC and Kuala Lumpur, a vast network of correspondents and social media platforms, it was able to provide the most comprehensive news coverage from the Middle East, Africa, Asia, Europe and the Americas. The focus was on human stories. This meant taking risks, reaching remote areas and challenging government censorship. Al Jazeera championed the coverage of what became known as the Arab Spring. We were really a platform for those who were uh, the euphoric crowds, if you like, in, in squares across the Arab world, people who were demanding freedom, people who were demanding democracy. Before their struggle descended into armed conflict, we faced many, many challenges over their years by, um, while, while covering conflicts in some of the most troubled regions. While covering protests in Egypt, four Al Jazeera English journalists were jailed on false charges for nearly two years. The thing is, we were doing our job as a professional journalist in Egypt. And at some point, this did not make the government in Egypt happy. They didn't want anybody to report anything but what do they see as the truth. So it was a shock. People came, arrest us, just simply for two reasons. One, they don't want the truth to prevail for people. The second thing, they wanted to intimidate other foreign journalists or journalists in general. Undaunted, the channel went ahead, gaining more popularity and winning awards. It managed to reverse the direction of the news flow, giving a stronger voice to the global south. In 15 years, Al Jazeera English has solidified its global footprint and continues its commitment to viewers by bringing to light stories that are otherwise less covered. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera. Charles Trendel is the managing director of Al Jazeera English. He says the range and scope of the channel's coverage distinguishes itself from other international networks. We are a channel that is not based in a traditional power center. So we're not from London, we're not from Washington, we're not from Paris, not from Berlin. Or we are, we are in, a, in, a, in a region of the world uh, which isn't used to having you know, international news channels based there. And so by, having, by being based here uh, and along with our editorial perspective, which is to provide all perspectives and alternative perspectives. So that makes it really important that I think Al Jazeera English has such a wide range and scope and depth in its coverage, unlike many other or most other news organizations. We've been doing Voice of the Voiceless for every day, every hour, every day for the past 15 years. Coverage we've done on the climate change and, and the COP, some of the packages from the field and earlier this year as well about climate, showing the effects of this climate emergency that we're going through on everyday people. And often it's the most poor and marginalized communities that are suffering and at the front line of the climate change. Some of those stories that we've done, among everything else, uh, I think have been really powerful and, and telling the human story. It's really important that we continue with the technological revolution um, and, and wherever that's going, um, and we're on the platforms that provide our audiences what they need, but at the same time stick to the core editorial values.